you should get out of these nightclubs, get a little sunshine and fresh air and learn how to play golf. My pa said when you get too old to run women, you start running them balls across the golf pasture. <laughs> now, he may have been smart, but he wasn't that smart. How you doing? Well, I'll tell you what a little bit I know about playing golf, and then maybe you can learn. Oh, hell yeah. Now what? Well, first you have to have your golf bag, your golf balls, and your golf clubs. You do have your bag, balls, oh, and clubs. Oh, hell yeah. I got out of service for that much anyway. <laughs> you go out to the golf lane. I do? You pull the zipper down on your bag, you take your ball out, and you drop it on the ground. A damn woman will not get it dirty. <laughs> That doesn't make any difference because if it gets dirty, there's a little steel brush there and you brush it off. That sounds like a rough damn game to me. I'll tell you that right now. Now what I do? You tee off in front of the clubhouse. Why can't you go around behind in the bushes? What is that? You want the people to see you, you idiot, so they'll cheer you. And they wouldn't cheer me. They'd boo the living hell out of me. <laughs> I'm sorry. First you take your tea. What's your tea? Your tea is that little white thing about that long. I'm damn I got that all right. <laughs> he wasn't that big when I was in Alaska, though. They're the same anywhere. Yeah, well, you put it 15 below zero and it'll shrink while I live in hell right now. <laughs> You stoop over and you stick your tea in the ground. Oh, hell yeah. Now what I do? <laughs> you stoop over, stick your tea in the ground, and you put your ball on top of it. Now, that sounds natural, baby. That sounds natural. Now what I do? Now you take your club. I do. By the way, how do you hold your club? Like the boys in Louisiana, I to get it between my thumb and my... None of your damn business how I hold my club. <laughs> you take your... You take your club in both hands, thusly. Sound like that old boy from Alabama. You all from. Now what I do? Both hands. All right, both hands. Then you throw it over your shoulder. Hold it, woman. Hold it. Now, ain't that stretching a little bit of thing a long way? Throwing it over your shoulder. Over your shoulder. All right, I stretch it over my shoulder. Now Then you come down and you hit the ball and it'll soar and soar and soar. Oh, man, it would if you'd scrub it with a steel brush and beat it with a damn club naturally get sore and sore. Now what? You knock the ball on the green. What's the green? You don't know what the green is either? I don't even know how to play the game in the first damn place. The green is that great big smooth patch with a little bitty hole in the middle. Oh, I'm a hog about that hole in the middle. <laughs> I may be too old to cut the mustard, but I love to mess around them bad patches. I'll tell you that. Now. You pull out your putter. What's my putter? Your putter happens to be the shortest club you own. Look at me, baby. Look at me. You're looking at me now. I'm in the game now. What I do? You take your putter. I do. And you knock the ball in the hole. I want to put my putter in the hole. <laughs> it ain't big enough. You ain't been where I've been. <laughs> There's just one more thing I'm going to tell you. What's that? And maybe you can talk intelligently about it, if nothing else. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, man, what I do? At the end of that 18th hole, yeah. there's a little red flag there, and that tells you that the game is over. You can move the red flag to the second hole, because after the first hole, I'm a dead pigeon anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>